Welcome back everyone. Today we are talking about the dental crown procedure. What is involved? We're going to be showing you exactly what it looks like through a surgical grade operating microscope. And we're also going to be talking about how much tooth is taken away when a dentist does a crown procedure. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So why would a dental crown be necessary? When a tooth has had a really large filling, it's possible for the tooth structure around the filling to start cracking, as you can see in this case. The first step in a dental crown is to actually remove the top two millimeters of the tooth structure. So that's the chewing surface that we're removing two millimeters of natural tooth away from. I know that sounds like a lot, but the porcelain that we're gonna be putting on needs to be two millimeters thick to stay strong and not crack. It's also important that we have a nice smooth surface all the way around, so we spend a lot of time in the dental crown procedure just trying to make sure everything is nice and smooth. Now we also need to trim around the perimeter of the tooth. That's right, all the way around. We don't need to take 2 millimeters off here, but we do need to take about anywhere between 0.6 millimeters and 1 millimeter. So that's what we do, spending our time being very conservative, trying to take as little tooth structure away as possible, but also making sure that we have enough reduction such that the porcelain crown that we're gonna put on isn't going to break. It's also very vital that everything is perfectly smooth here so that the lab can make a perfectly fitting crown for us. After we get the basic shape established, I like to move the rubber dam out of the way so that we can do some refinement. The next step is to put a knitted cord in place to push the gums out of the way so that I can trim the tooth to the appropriate level safely. Once that's done, we check our reduction, about 0.6 millimeters and 0.6 millimeters, which is perfect. Then I put another cord in place to make sure that the gums are way out of the way so that when we take our digital image of this tooth, we get a really clear picture. We're going to polish everything up now to make sure it's nice and smooth and just perfect for the lab who's working on it. This is what the tooth looks like after it's been trimmed and polished. Now before we can get a crown on there, we need to actually send information to the lab so that they can make it. But before I do that, I want to make sure I have enough space between the crown tooth and the ones biting against it. Then I spray some imaging powder onto the tooth, make sure everything's clear. Then we take some digital images to create a 3D model, which the lab then uses to make a crown. It's milled out of a block of porcelain and sent back to us the same day. So here it is. We're trying it in, making sure everything's fitting well. The tongue side margins are looking excellent. I can feel a perfectly smooth margin between the root and the crown. And the same goes for the cheek side of the tooth. I'm checking the flossing contacts on both sides of the crown to make sure that there's no food traps. All that's left to do is to glue it in. But that, my friends, is a topic for another video. So if you wanna see more like this video, make sure to subscribe, I'll keep you in the loop, and we'll see you in the next one.